Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 216, HTTP headers. In tip 215, I talked about how you can use the HTTP forward slash X dash content dash type dash option site setting to disable browser MIME type sniffing. In this tip, we'll look at the other HTTP headers that you can control via site settings. First, as a quick refresher, site settings are managed within the Portal Management app. If the site setting you are interested in doesn't exist, simply create it with the correct name and specify the value that you want. The name of all the settings we'll be talking about in this tip start with HTTP forward slash, which is then followed by the name of the header that you want to set. The first group of settings are used to control cross-origin resource sharing, or cores. These are used when you want to make a cores request to your PowerPages site from another site. The headers here all start with access-control-allow and include credentials, headers, methods, origin, expose-headers, and max-age. Next, we have the content-security-policy header. When configured, this setting can help protect against attacks like cross-site scripting and data injection. At a high level, it allows you to control which domain's resources can be loaded from. Power Pages also supports setting the content-security-policy-report-only header so that you can report on how certain policies may impact your users. Next is x-frame-options. This controls whether your Power Pages site can be embedded as an iframe in another page. We do sometimes see organizations use iframes to embed a Power Pages form into another website. So there are valid reasons to allow this. But if you're not doing that, you can tighten this policy up. Your options are either to deny or same origin, which means that it can only be embedded as an iframe on your Power Pages site. Finally, we've got the x-content-type-options header, which, as previously discussed, allows you to disable MIME type sniffing for JavaScript and CSS. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 216 on HTTP headers useful.